Hi everybody! Welcome back to X Nanny Q. Yay! Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments. Thank you for everybody who listened to my intro, who listened to my video on alopecia. Thank you for coming back to listen to this video on how to get your child to sleep through the night. I just want to say I appreciate everybody. Thank you for your time. Just thank you. So let's get right into the question. Um, a parent sent in, how do I get my 20 month, 24 month old to sleep all night in his room? Ma'am, ma'am. So just like anything else, this is going to be a task. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take some time and you're going to have to be very patient about it. Just like you want it done, kids don't want it done. You have to understand that for two years, this person has been taking up your bed, kicking you in your face and your knees, everywhere but on their side of the bed, and now you want to give them their own bed. It's going to be hard because the comfort of having mom and dad in a room is something that all kids get so used to that they find it an easy way for them to sleep because mom and dad are right there. It's a comfort to them. So it's going to take some time. You might have to start off with doing naps during the day just to make sure that the kid is used to sleeping in their room. You can also start, you know, letting the child kind of fall asleep in your bed and putting them in their bed just to see how it kind of goes. But it's nothing that's going to be within a week it's going to take a few weeks for everybody to get used to it and once you start getting used to it you're going to have separation anxiety because this person has been in your bed for so long that you're going to be at their door making sure that they're okay making sure that they're doing this or just to check on the baby all night so to kind of ease you and the baby's transition Maybe getting a baby cam will be something that will help both of you guys out. Um, a lot of my parents, I tell them, get the kind that can go right by the bed. And the reason being is that you can see every move that the child makes. And if you feel like you want to go in there and just to check on the baby, you already know by the time you get in the room that the child is in a good sleep. And it's also a good idea to make sure that there's nothing on the floor in the baby room, uh, no toys that they can get a hold to or anything like that. Because what you don't want is to hear noises at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning because the baby has gotten out of bed to play from to with toys that were down from earlier. No. So at night, you guys can, you know, start a new routine. Make sure the baby eats about 7, 7.30. That's a good time. Bath is about 8. Read a book so the child is in the bed no later than 8.30. That way you have enough time for the crying, the no's, the yes, the getting out of bed, going back to bed, coming in your room. It's going to take a long time to get that child adjusted. But it's okay because you have the patience to do it. I believe that you can do it and I know you can because you know why you're tired of having a foot in your back yeah so you're going to do it I know so you know start off with you know little easy things I'm not saying that it's gonna happen you know within two or three weeks but it will happen if you do a consistent schedule it's all about scheduling and for my parents who are like well I can't do a schedule but I'm ready for them to get out of bed yeah Give them a little time to get used to being in a room by themselves. But everybody after a while will get used to the schedule and it will be easy peasy. So, key points. Let's start off with naps in the room. Let's make sure that we're cleaning the room before the child gets in the room for bedtime. Let's do a book or something before we go to sleep so the child knows once the book is read, it's time for me to go to sleep and they'll be used to it. Is there a certain age that a child has to sleep in their own bed? There isn't. You can start when you feel comfortable. Don't let nobody else tell you, oh, my baby been sleeping in the bed since they came out the womb. That's them. Every child is different. Every parent is different. Do what you feel is comfortable. Don't go by what somebody else tells you. Because if anything happens, you're going to have so many what ifs, it's, it's going to eat you alive. So do what you feel comfortable, not what other people tell you. 
Okay? All right. So let's make sure we're getting those questions in. You can send them to AskNannyQ.com. You can also send questions on our IG page, which is Gigs NCDS. Thank you again for the love. Thank you for the support. Just thank you. You guys have an amazing night. God bless. Mwah! And remember, I'm more than just a nanny. I'm Nanny Q, and I'm here to help. Good night.